I've been listening to ours for a long time, and I can't help but think that the last two records are two of the saddest records <laughs> on tape. I really wish you some happiness <laughs> so we can hear happy songs. Is that coming? Do you really want to hear happy songs? Yeah, though? I do. I actually do want to hear happy songs. These are like your Nebraskas, and I'm I'm ready to start hearing some Lucky Town or something really? a little happier. Yeah. Well, it's weird because I'm not really an overly sad person. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, so I that's kind of where all that stuff goes, I guess. Are you constantly writing? Is it is oh, yeah. it a constant exercise for you? I know when I, I'm reading your blog and and reading your tweets, you're you're always thinking of songs. Is that a process that's ongoing for you? Heck yeah. Yeah. I can't stop it. And you're writing, your I, your blog is just tons of handwritten stuff. How long does it take you to to compile all that stuff? Um, I guess I'm not really keeping track. Yeah. Um, I have this crazy bedroom where I put up sheets of paper on the wall. Yeah. And I started doing this because I, I was really into stream of consciousness writing mm -hmm. in high school and stuff. I went to this exhibit at the New York Public Library. It was a Kerouac exhibit. And I saw that he wrote on the road on this huge... Teletype machine. Yeah, it was like this roll of paper. Right. So I was like, that's a great idea. Then you don't have to stop and turn the page. So I got these $5 rolls of paper and I just put them all over my room. And it it's, works out great because I can just lie on my bed and be like, oh, that's the chorus of that verse over there. And not have to do any digging. <laughs> he was on speed and the book took him one night to, the book took him one night to write. So we're hoping that you're not on speed and that you take a little more time. Whatever it takes. <laughs> um, if anybody's a do-it-yourselfer, you are. I mean, you went down south, met the South Side Boys, and, and put this record together on totally on your own, totally yeah. funded on your own. Yeah. How do you do it? Uh, well, I don't do it. The people do it. Oh. I mean, people are, I guess, as crazy as I am. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how I do it. How did it work? How did that work? Yeah, how did it work? <laughs> that was super weird. Um, <laughs> uh, long story short, I guess to fill people in, um, I needed to make a record. I kind of lost everything, um, yeah. so hence the real sad record. Um, and one of the things I didn't have was a way to record. It's real expensive. Yeah. So I did this weird, weird fundraising thing, mm -hmm. where people could like pre-order the record, or they could like, like book me to play at their wedding or their anniversary or their birthday party yeah. or hang out with me and do fun random stuff for a weekend like I was I was drawing c cartoons of people like whatever I could do to make 50 bucks so somehow that worked and now there's a record which your is why fans. it's called ours right because your fans helped you put this record together right what a bunch of crazy people. yeah crazy um, and they're all invested in, in your career. I mean, they're all invested in, in seeing where this all goes now, right? Well, now, speaking of investment, now I'm like, okay, what else can I do? Because I can't go looking in for handouts again. One thing we did in the last one is I actually sold publishing rights to a couple songs, or like a percentage of publishing rights. Wow. So I'm thinking like maybe, because I've got, I've got like 30-something new songs, and it's always just like how to record them, mm -hmm. right? The, the, even the ones that are on that record, to me, are old news. Like some of them are years old. It's just like get them out there. I saw that you've uh, hooked up with a Pro to Tools rig and you'll yeah. be able to record on your own now, yeah. right? Is that well, the plan? I can do some things. I mean, it's, you know, I can set up the session, I can do the, the scratch tracks and maybe a couple keyboard guitars, maybe some keyboards and stuff. But um, I live in this ancient house and it's so loud and, you know, I just don't have the gear or whatever. But it's been, that's been one of the reasons I've been writing pretty much a song a day is because I have that. Right. You know, it's an incentive to just like finish a thought, kind of. Your videos too are are all self-made. My favorite one is that one of the thousands of different shots of you singing the song. I mean, how long? First of all, how do you think about doing that? And then, how long does it take from conception to actually putting putting the wheels in motion to create that video? Um, well, it seemed like no time at all because I would just sh get the shot and then edit it on the train on the way to the next place, and it was like guerrilla video shoot like yeah. we would be in a place basically you know two days get there drop off our bags go see the sites and then I as soon as I was on the train I was always editing right so yeah. by the time we got to the next city I'd be so excited and be like oh I can't wait to get to the next shot but I don't know how the idea came about you just shot the whole song like you singing the whole or you actually knew what parts you were gonna sing where yeah it's it's pretty much chronological it's like wow. the first place that we went that's the first line and then the second place we went that's the second line your mind is a crazy place I to just, <laughs> just be able to come up with all of this stuff yeah 
Well, it's always going. I mean, the, the good thing about being, I guess, doing it yourself is like there's no limits. Right. I can do whatever I can think of. So the more I think of, the more fun I get to have. Um, you gave away this record for free, yeah. ostensibly. Originally, it was just a track a week, but 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 you've decided now that the whole record is available for free download. Well, the, the original plan was when everything kind of happened in the last little while, I, I made a list of what was important to me. One of the things was seeing the world. Another was just being heard and it didn't really matter you know money and any of that doesn't matter it was just kind of a means to an end any right. amount that I get can put me back in the studio so the plan was always to give away as much music as possible that was something I said I know I don't have any recordings right now I don't have any music to give away mm -hmm. but I just want people to hear these songs do you know how many people have downloaded the record I think it's like 2500 or something it's pretty good are you happy with I, that? That was a couple weeks ago, though. Not really. No. But but it's on. We put it up on BitTorrent and all right. that stuff. So I'm hoping that there's more that we can't keep track of. BillyTheKidOnline.com. If yeah. people want to get it. Yeah, yeah. I just got I got it earlier today because I was listening to it at my desk. I have it on my iPhone, but I wanted to listen to it at my desk, and I'm so lazy that I didn't transfer it. I just <laughs> downloaded well, it. Well, it's again. right there. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> awesome. Uh, can you put up other? No, just joking. Um, <laughs> um, Actually, all my records, everything I've ever put out, is is free available. up there. Yeah. So how are you sustaining your career? Is it is it by touring now? Is that is that basically what you're trying to do? I guess it's supposed to be, but yeah. I, because I've been so busy making this record and stuff, I the the show cycle is gonna start up again. Like I'm going to America next week, and I've got some shows there, and then I'll I'll come back. I'm always back. Yeah, where's back? Back is always in Vancouver, right? Yeah, the the Canadian. I mean, I think I played like 120 shows last year. Most of them were in Canada, so it's been a nice break, actually. <laughs> um, Southside boys are in the Carolinas, right? North Richmond, Car Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. So yeah. a little north of the Carolinas. Uh, so you're going down there, and then you're going to do some south southeast shows. Is that the plan? Yeah. Cool. I really want a happy record. <laughs> so I hope whatever. What, what about I all the people that don't, though? Yeah. I, I can't please everybody. You got your two records. I want a happy record. I got it. I got because I know that if you. I get a happy record, that means that you're happy. And that does that doesn't mean that, that I'm happy at all. I feel real happy. All right. I feel real good. Like good. Think about all the things that are going right. Everything is going right. And so I feel like I'm like <laughs> yeah. I'm like it's okay, Ira. I'm okay. Yeah. Don't worry. Can I, yeah. Can <laughs> can I get some therapy then? Well, the um, next one I want to do is going to be a double record, and it, and it's going to be one album of just like acoustic me yeah. and a guitar. And then the other one's going to be Southside Boys, and it's like a so far it's sounding real like Spring Steady or like Hold Steady, Springsteen kind of thing. Yeah, well they sound piano rock, like awesome. identical. Yeah, yeah, well <laughs> similar. Craig, you're not exactly Bruce Springsteen, and Bruce, you're not exactly Craig, but it's it's close. We're feeling it. Um, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for playing songs, and and thanks for making really nice music. Even though it's sad. Thanks. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's,